Hey, y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We are in downtown historic McKinney, Texas. That's north of Dallas. We're going to go into this antique company mall, one of my favorite antique malls in McKinney and in the Dallas area. Of course, around here, it's such a huge place that there's a lot of different antique stores and thrift stores and things you can go to. So we're going to go into this antique company mall to look for purses, jewelry, whatnots, doodads, and knickknacks to pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on live buy it nows of purses and jewelry and auctions on my channel. Subscribe to the channel, hit a thumbs up for this video. We're particularly looking for goblets for Christmas. I want different multicolored, with a stem preferably, goblets. But of course, when I go in a place like this, there's no telling what I'm going to come out with. So let's go see what they've got. Look at the window dressing a little bit. I love to see what they have in the window. So definitely Christmassy, and it's two-story also. Look at this. 500-piece vintage puzzle. Those make cute stocking stuffers also. So we are, we're looking for goblets. I'm gonna take me a basket just in case. It's about the time I don't take a basket with me. I find all kinds of stuff. Lots of serving platters. We have tons of those. Look at this old shelf. Look at the detail. I need to get some gold ribbon for my tree. I keep forgetting I've got to go by Hobby Lobby and do that. Vintage Christmas ornaments. Oh, these are cute too. So only $15. Aren't those beautiful? See, it's just a huge place. Look at it, how decorated it is. Things are everywhere. Butter dish. advertising that's a great coat hook antique hotel what is that servants call bell panel for, panel for 10 rooms These are cute, the old toy tops. Eight dollars a piece. I need a rolling pin at the farm, and I really would prefer to get a wood one with handles like this. I haven't found one yet, so I probably need to watch for that while I'm in here. These are nice too. This looks like it might actually be old. Oh, look at this picture. Keep your eye out for some goblets in case I miss any. So I've taken y'all in here before with me. It 
It's a great store. Look at that old candle. This would make for a great Christmas gift. Look at this. Stocking stuffer, isn't that so cute? Look at this. This is funny. I love it. Watch this. Look at these vintage pictures. It's supposed to look like vintage, but look. <laughs> oh, look at this. Isn't that fun? It's called the Bubblegum Girls. Bees and chickens must be a sign. It says it's late eighteen hundreds. Eighteen sixty two. Look at that pink rhinestone choker necklace. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This is beautiful. Look at this. What a great idea. These are cute ornaments. $20. Look at this great old chair right here. I love this, look. Now look at these books too, but look at this. How cool is that? I'd say there's no way that's $25. So it really goes on forever. We're still only on the first floor. So here's a goblet that I'll probably get. These are, what is this, 650 is it? Or I don't think it's the whole set. So I have a red one and a blue one already, and I really think that I should probably get a clear one also. That way it's all changed up. So I think we will. Well, now we've got a red, white, and blue. Look at these.
look at these purples. I wish they had the goblet. What is this? Hmm. Oklahoma 1887 map. So this is probably a reproduction. Don't have, don't have to take pictures for me. Okay, I love you, honey. This is where I got the I spotted a purse. Look at this one. I know. I had a friend, I remember Mets from TCU. And she's right out of college. She worked for Cabbage Patch. Love that old painting. I know she had to clean that up. Probably not. Well, you never know. She gets, you know, she wants, well, she probably is getting her Christmas. She's going to get her Christmas stuff up. Oh, yes. yes. It's really cute. Look at yours. Look at that picture there. Wow. Looks kind of like an oil painting, but I don't think it is. It might be. You know what? It is an oil painting. It's $285. Let's look up close. Look at this, y'all. I love watermelon and salt. But look at the honeybees. Look at that. That's going on with CJ to the Airbnb. That's awesome. I love watermelon. I love honeybees. A Madonna planter, that's beautiful too. So the watermelon and the honeybees is just perfect. There was another picture I found once that y'all saw too in a video. And it was um it was honeybees. Look at those old trophies. It was honeybees also. And they were on like a basket of flowers. I think I'm going to put that in the Victorian room. Even though it's watermelons, I'm not going to put it in the kitchen. Who is this? I guess somebody just framed it. I thought it might have been like a star or something.
these are some of my favorite glasses when I find them. They're always usually red. They were given away at fairs. This one's 1920 marked Billy. And then you've got one right here from 1905. Billy and Willie. See how these were given as prizes, I believe, at the fairs back then, which is pretty cool. At state fairs, how cool is that? Ooh. This booth is always usually sports related memorabilia, which is great, and advertising, which is pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Look at his old belt. Was that like a toy Santa on a wagon? I wonder if that was a child's toy. Pretty wet red plates. Look at this. Look at this bead bag. Isn't that pretty? It's a doctor's bag. It's not very old, but it's still nice. I think one of the things I'm going to show y'all while I'm in Texas is the flagship store of um, Home Goods. So the flagship store is actually in Allen, Texas. So Home Goods are great places, but I do want to show y'all that. I've never done a video of that before. Look at this, 1902 Baby Walker. Look at that. A vintage Whiting and Davis bag, look at this, $25. I think I found some more goblets. What is this little thing right here? $14. Love that. Oh, wow. Look at these little gifts. These little gift baskets. Well, that's cute. Wow. Oh, it's a set of 10, so you can't just buy one. They're pretty, though. I'm looking to find all different kinds 
and sizes. Is this a goblet vintage green glass float glass? I don't even know what that means. But could you consider that a goblet? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to get it anyway because I need 10 of them and now I've got four.